Hello friends, today in my Shakers Education and Travel Vlogs, I welcome you with a trip to Netherlands and in Netherlands to Amsterdam. So friends, you will see lot of beautiful things in Netherlands, Amsterdam. First will be of course the Henneken experience outside the brewery, Henneken brewery which is located in Amsterdam. A historic one and internationally distributed honey can, prisoner beer are manufactured here. So we will show you the exterior of the facility. Then uh, the canal site, canal cruises go from where that we will show you. And uh, then friends, we will take you on a bus ride through Amsterdam which will show you the Dutch countryside and uh, you will see lot of construction which is a means to spur the economy there and uh, about the souvenirs, Dutch souvenirs you will hear. Cheese is a very popular souvenir people take home and uh, then in the red light district of Amsterdam lot of souvenirs are available it is told by the guide like preservatives those are available there. And uh, then friends, uh, the trip will end with a visit to a, a square where the statue of King William II is installed. King William II was the son of King William I and Wilhelmine of Prussia. When the father of King William II, who up to that time ruled as sovereign prince, proclaimed himself as king in 1815. King William II became Prince of Orange as heir apparent to the Kingdom of the Netherlands. With the abdication of his father on 7 October 1840, William II became king. During his reign, Netherlands became a parliamentary democracy. That credit goes to him. Netherlands became a parliamentary democracy with the new constitution of 1848. And one more feature was that King William II was married to Anna Pavlovna of Russia and they had four sons and one daughter. William II died on 17th March 1849 and was succeeded by his son. So friends, I will start the video now, drive through Amsterdam, please see these beautiful places, enjoy your ride. And before the video starts, I would exhort you to subscribe to my channel Shakers Education and Travel Vlogs. Please subscribe to my channel Shakers Education and Travel Vlogs. Watch the videos, like and share with your near and dear ones, with your known people, acquaintances and comment also. And while subscribing, please press the bell button for all notifications so that you get notified as soon as videos uploaded. So, over to the video friends, drive through Amsterdam. Amsterdam, 3rd June 2011. Krishna Kanya and Fair. By the side of the canal.
हो गया आपने लिया कुछ नहीं आप दिखे नहीं किधर बैठे थे नहीं नहीं हम पहले बैठे थे अच्छा ओ हो बढ़िया है थोड़ा एरिया तो अच्छा ही है बढ़िया रहा होगा वहाँ कूड़ा बिन गुड है आप भाई मोहनती साहब देखिए आपका भी जरा शूट कर ले भाई रहेगा मेरे पास रिकॉर्ड में इधर देखो जी Well, it means a simple protecting wall around uh, a place which was a castle where our leaders were living and hunting and having fun. So these people were representatives of the emperors. For a long time we were part of all kinds of empires. The uh, Habsburg Spanish Empire was the last one. Before that we were a part of France, a part of the Holy German Empire and so on. So for a long time we were uh, not independent. It all changed in 50s. He knew that he would have many troubles if he would start about religion. William started with his brother's uh, revolution. Uh, we were no longer a part of an empire, so we were a republic. And uh, the power was not in the hands of a corrupted uh, system, a feudal structure, a feudal but in the hands of the tradesmen, the businessmen, who were, because of their religion, very honest and not so much. We were the richest countries in the world, England and Holland. We started up a fleet uh, with shares, shareholders, the VOC, the East India Company, and the West India Company, and the Northern Company. We copied each other, England copied us, we copied England. And uh, as I said, in long time, we were a rich country. Now we are still rich, but we have the habit not to show it. So if you see, no, that's a very, for a lot of people, that's a very strange habit. Yes, well, if you see a Mercedes, it's very probably a German tourist or a businessman or a taxi driver. Uh, if you see somebody who is dressed in a terrible way, you would like to give him a hundred euro to survive and then you find out he has millions. Because for a lot of people, clothes are not important at all. One of these people, always uh, having the same clothes, yeah, sometimes she is abroad for ten days and you see her every day with the same clothes. Although she has built... Uh, that's a, the people who have not so much power, that is the Queen, the, the most of the power is of course in the hands of Parliament, 150 deputies in one chamber, Just keep a good government. making the laws, and uh, we have one chamber that controls good, the, the, good the second one, not making laws, but checking it out, and uh, together they are Parliament, and a uh, member of uh, the government is normally Queen Beatrix also. You see, we are building a lot everywhere. That is to stimulate the economy. Uh, we have officially 5% of the people is without a job. 
if you analyze it, I would say it's not completely true. I would say about 35% of the people is working were afraid to lose their head. So they got a license to come to the Netherlands. And they now live uh, normally in Indonesia, uh, in, uh, in uh, uh, The Hague, Den Haag. So uh, we will see quite a lot of Indonesian, Chinese, Indonesian restaurants in The Hague. Nice city, The Hague, I love it. But it's quite small, as you understand. You will get a lot of information, of course, today on the boat as well, but also in the booklet about Maduro Dam, the miniature Holland. Uh, there's a system with numbers, so you can go and walk on the territory and uh, you see a number and then you look in the book and read what it is. So everybody building, building. So the Hague is quiet and don't worry about souvenirs, buying souvenirs, you can do that tomorrow on the cheese farm. What is the um, best souvenir here? The best area to live? Souvenir, souvenir, what souvenir? Ah, souvenirs, I would say on the farm tomorrow. On the farm. On the farm? Yes, the, the cheese farm. Cheese. You will have uh, enough time to pick up what's interesting. Another possibility is this evening, if you find the time after the boat, you are uh, having the original uh, souvenirs. I mean, everybody buys the cheese and the wooden shoes and the things that have to do with soccer, with football. Ajax is our team, Ajax Amsterdam. But uh, there's the red, red light district in Amsterdam where you can buy very original souvenirs like uh, preservatives, playing football, Things like that, condoms, very special ones, good present for the parents, having much fun there. That's the red light district. I very much recommend to, to walk there, I don't know whether it's in your program, but uh, go to the red light, have a look and uh, see all these pretty women in the windows. So, window shopping it's called in Amsterdam, window shopping. A lot of uh, alternative energy now, here on the left you can, coming up, but we will see it all the time. Turbines, wind turbines, thanks to the catastrophe in uh, Japan, uh, Germany decided to close all the atomic stations, all of them, in uh, 15, maybe 20 years or so, everything will be finished. That means that the whole Germany of Germany will fil be filled up by and the Germans are very afraid of atomic industry. In Holland we built a second one, probably, if people are not going to protest against it, because everybody is afraid of atomic energy. Here's a normal windmill. Okay, I think it's good for the country that we will have, let's say, a, a right-wing liberal as the leader of the new government going to be. Or she may say, I think the country is not liberal enough. I ask a social democrat to form a coalition of parties. That happened 15 years ago, and since then we were the most liberal thinking about the faith of animals, and they support senior citizens. But on the other hand, they are against immigration, so against Muslims especially. These right-wing parties get about 20% in Europe, in a lot of countries. And uh, in Holland, they get a maximum of 20%. Uh, because too many people are afraid of Muslims, although it's only 4.5% of the population. Uh, but Amsterdam or Rotterdam do not react to it because we are used to living together with all kinds of people. People from all kinds of countries. I mentioned them. Serious, serious uh, Moroccans, Turkish, Indonesian, Indian. We all live together in a very friendly way. If I look at the place where I live, I have neighbors from Suriname. My next neighbor having a little restaurant is from India. He has a wife from India. Um, everybody lives together in a friendly way. So in Amsterdam we are used to live like that. But in the places where there are no foreign people, people are afraid of them. So without a reason. 
Billions of farms on either side are private farms. There are cattle seen on the farms. What is this on the either side? Uh, the farms on the left, they're all private. Yes, definitely. Yes. The only time when we have no private farming is when we have no land. So if you look at the map later, you will see that the beautiful place. You can see the horses standing in the water in the Middle Ages. You can see uh, the fountain. It's the heart of our country. nice but expensive houses all around us like the Norwegian embassy lots of embassies by the monarchy by the king and that's a black page in our history there was an intrigue there were always fights between uh, the ultra liberals the lib social democrats communists liberals religious groups so all kinds of troubles between the different groups. They tried to protect the city, but it was not. And a gallery with paintings. On the left is King William. It's Saturday, the public holiday here? Uh, uh, today is a holiday, uh, it's Saturday. Every Saturday? Every Saturday, yes. But uh, you don't see many young people because they are still under the influence of all kinds of drugs. Like that. And she goes to uh, the place in the middle here, uh, where Parliament will receive her, and then Be Beatrix will talk to the people and say what the Prime Minister has written down for her, so she is not allowed to end. King William. King William King William the second who had a Russian wife. Friends, if you like this video, please press the like button. There is a like button. So please press that. And then circulate the video among your groups, your friends, your known people, so that they can also enjoy the video. And before leaving, please subscribe to my channel, Shekhar's Education Travel Vlogs. Subscribe and also press the bell button for all notifications. So happy watching. All the best. Good luck. Bye-bye.